2016, the year of challenges and Pokemon Go and other fun stuff. Ah, yes, the world was a fun place not too long ago. But you see, the thing is, uh, I was one of those kids who didn't play Pokemon Go at that time. Or at least it wasn't my main focus. Instead, I was getting the hang of going to Center City and practicing for the SATs and stuff like that. But I did remember this one time where I kind of had a Pokemon Go moment. Like, I wasn't really playing it, but I very jokingly did. <laughs> you see, earlier that year, I had signed up to do an internship at this Philadelphia Organization Program group thing. Yes, I called it a thing. Just get excited thinking about it. Anyway, I signed off on the paper that I would prefer to have an internship that was not actually located in Center City. One hot June or July summer day, I got this email from this one company. I don't really know if I'm allowed to say their name here, so I'll just, I'll just make up a name. I think I'll call them July Aircrafts. Way to suit the Pokemon theme. <laughs> July Aircrafts had sent me this email telling me that I'll be working for them as an intern and that I didn't even have to go through an interview. But you see, the thing is, I didn't really have an idea where this July Aircrafts company was located, so my mom and I had to look for it. It turns out that the GPS also had no idea where this mysterious July Aircraft company was located, or maybe it was kind of confused, since it stopped us somewhere pretty far from what I saw on the map. Does this sound familiar yet? The GPS had told us that we had to stop at the location that it took us to, and from there on, just kind of walk. You know, like, that's kind of weird. I mean, there's a road right there. I mean, why can't you, why can't we, we, we drive it? I mean, we have a car. We could do, we could use the road and the car and do the thing. So, kind of weird, but okay, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> anyway, my mom and I walked for miles in what seemed like, in what was like, the really hot sun- look, I don't like warm weather, and I don't like hot weather even more, like, it's- I, I prefer to be cold, I'm that kind of person. At some point, we stopped when we found some trees to get some shade in. Oh hey, these acorns look kind of cute, let's pick them. Okay, great idea, yeah, let's pick some acorns, or acorn looking shaped things, I think that's what it's called. So there I was, walking to the promised land. I began to see a large building. This looks like my internship location. You have arrived at your destination. Wait, what? That's it? We're here? Um, you're not gonna tell us, like, what else to do? Okay, so my mom arrived at this building, which was kind of guarded by fences, not like in the Hunger Games, but like enough to say that it was a professional building. Like, you know, don't enter. We're up to some professional engineering stuff. And then there's this one employee that came out from work wearing this engineer looking uniform and just walking. So my mom was like, hey, you should go up to him and ask him about the internship. You know, maybe he knows something. I mean, it's a human, right? Uh, no, I don't think he has a clue about what we're doing, but okay. And I was right. I went up to him and asked in what I thought at that moment was the stupidest way. Hey, are there any internships here? Like, do you know, do you know what we're doing? Yeah. What? He looked at us and just said, yeah, sorry, you, you, you can't get in here. It's a secured building. Like, kind of like we were just doing whatever. And that moment I realized, oh. that we're playing it all so and we're just being stupid and whatever so i mean like what was i supposed to say at that moment hey um you see this professional building i'm gonna work here the day after tomorrow <laughs> that's so cool you're gonna use the little acorns to throw you know to catch like pokemon that, that's fun i like that <laughs> i mean at that moment i was kind of serious and i was one of those people who was like those kids Playing that dumb game, getting into trouble, how dare they? Ugh, so not smart. So, you can imagine how angry I was. Let's just say I was feeling a little bit, well... I was feeling salty, okay? That's the feeling I was feeling. It was lots of salt particles. You know, because I was hot, and I was getting nowhere, and, you know, I wasn't being taken seriously. I mean, he did have a good sense of humor, but I guess I didn't. So, I walked angrily. It turns out that this building that I was walking around had two zones. The blue zone and the red zone. 
once you got to the red zone, come in, come in, guests, come in. I will show you the way. That's what it was like. But man, that day, that day was something. The day that I was mistaken for playing Pokemon. And that's my story. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. Mm -hmm.